guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see I've been posting like little subtle updates about our flower stand. And this is like the base of it. I'm so excited. My husband has been working on like the logistics of it. Um, he's been like working on the axles and stuff because we got it and it's pretty like rusted out, which is like perfect for the flower stand. Um, but he's kind of been having to work like on the undercarriage of it. So he's been working on that and here pretty soon he is going to start um, building like a roof on it. So it's gonna have this cute little roof and we're gonna build like some shelving and stuff so that we can display all of our beautiful flowers. Today is January 18th and I already have some seeds started. Um, a couple of them I'm going to be bumping up to some bigger cells because they're going to go out here pretty soon. And then I'm also going to be starting some more seeds. So I don't have a ton started but I thought I would show you guys some of the things I have started. Most of them are cool flowers. Um, I do have some eucalyptus started because that just takes a really really long time. And it actually germinated really really well and I'm so happy. Last year I grew eucalyptus. Eucal eucalyptus. Last year I grew eucalyptus and it did terrible. I got like, I think I, I the only packet I could find, cause it was like, I waited way too long to buy seed. The only packet I could find was like 30 seeds. It was expensive. And I ended up planting out like six plants and they only got like this tall. Like they did nothing. So I think the spot I planted them in didn't have enough sun. Um, and I also think I might have just stressed them out a little bit too much. So this year I'm gonna, I've been reading so much about starting eucalyptus and um, so hopefully I can get it to work really, really good. So I have two different kinds of eucalyptus that I started. Um, one's baby blue and one is, I can't remember. It's the other really, really similar, silver drop, silver drop. So baby blue and silver drop are the two that I started. Um, and I have about, I planted 50 seeds of each and I have about 30 of each that came up and looked great. So, um, awesome. I'm really excited about that. I also decided to go ahead and order some plugs for eucalyptus. And I also ordered lisianthus plugs as well. Um, I did start lisianthus and my lisianthus looks really great. I had really great germination. Um, I have noticed like I'm losing a couple here and there that were just like, not growing very fast and the other ones seem to be growing a little faster i don't know if, like every once in a while i feel like i see one kind of like dropping off so i i definitely am losing some i had like probably 95 percent germination with my lisianthus which was awesome so now i'm down to maybe like 80 percent with a few that i've lost here and there but hopefully i can get a decent amount of those um but i really just wanted to practice like starting those seeds um, and then I am gonna go ahead, I did order some plugs, so I have those coming as kind of like my backup, and also I just want a lot of lisianthus and eucalyptus, so I did order a different kind of eucalyptus in my plugs, and I cannot remember the name, but it's the one that you see in like pretty much every florist. It's like the really, it has like circle leaves and it's like really flowy, so I'm really excited about that, that will be fun. So here is a couple of things, and I know it says, a lot of people say like not to, germinate two things like two separate things in the same thing or in the same dish but these two the back of the packets were very very similar and so I figured I would just try it and it worked really really well I just covered them with plastic and then um, these germinated really fast in like four days these are stock and I have three different colors here and then these are all snapdragons and I also have three different colors of snapdragons so they all germinated really fast, the stock did, and so I just like moved the plastic off and just draped it over half of this. And that worked great. They, I mean, like most, I think all of, but one of those snapdragons came up, which is like amazing. And then most of those came up. This one I have a few less. And then as far as stock, I had probably like 98% germination. And then I did, um, with stock, you're supposed to like, trim some of them the ones that are like a little bit smaller and have really round leaves when they first pop up you're supposed to trim those because those are supposed to not have like the double bloom that is desired so i tried it we'll see like if it actually worked <laughs> we'll see if i get single blooms or what but i'm excited to see what happens with those so these stock they definitely need to be bumped up most of them are already starting to work on their um 
second set of true leaves. So you have, these are like the baby leaves that aren't the real leaves. This first set here, those are the first set of true leaves. And then you see that little one, that little one in there, that's like the second set. So most of these are working on their second set of true leaves. Some of them already have them. But anyway, I probably should have got these bumped up like a week ago, but we'll see. We'll just see how they turn out. So I have my tray here. This is what I'm gonna bump them up to. And then the Snapdragons, I'm gonna leave a little bit longer. I have some Verbena. And these turned out pretty good. And then I also have some Yarrow here. The Yarrow also needs to be bumped up. According to the packet, we're gonna try it. It probably could go a little bit longer, but it says once you get your second leaves, your second set of true leaves, Actually, it might say the first. First true leaves, yeah. So these, most of these are starting their second set. So anyway, those definitely need to be bumped up. And then I have some trays, open trays here that I'm gonna be planting. Um, I've got a whole bunch of rutabecchia that needs to get going. I have some scabiosa. And then I'm gonna plant the rest of my lisianthus seeds. So I started out just planting like half of my lisianthus seeds because I wanted, I didn't know like I don't know, I feel like everything I read, it said that it was like really, really hard to start Lysianthus seeds. So I didn't wanna just like throw all my eggs in one basket and plant every single one and then have it fail. But I feel like it worked out pretty good. Um, I did start them in soil blocks and I think that's one of the reasons why I'm like losing some here and there because I feel like the moisture, um, they can't hold moisture quite as well. And they, I don't know, they just don't dry out evenly. So like the, like the soil blocks on the edge, I feel like they dry out faster and those are the ones that I'm kind of losing. So I'm gonna be starting my Lysianthus the second time around. I'm just gonna start it in a tray, which is like an open tray, scatter all my seeds in. And I feel like I'll be able to maintain the moisture a little bit better. Um, and then I'll use the pricking method, I guess. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. But you basically just prick each individual one out and then you can like pot them up. So I'm gonna be using that method for the second batch of Lysianthus. So you can see here on my spreadsheet, these are all the things I've already planted. I do also have some Dusty Miller that I planted and a few Bells of Ireland. I'm having a hard time with Bells of Ireland this year, which is really weird because last year I didn't have any trouble. So I'm gonna have to experiment with that a little bit. Well, nap time ended a little too quickly. And so we just finished dinner, and now I'm gonna try and get some of these seeds planted. We'll see how that goes <laughs> with this one. I might just have to like push this off until bedtime. Are you gonna be really loud with those the whole time? What do you think? Yes? Okay, go for it. We'll just have to put the music over this. finally got Charlie down and so I'm gonna finish some doing all of my rutabecchia. Rutabecchia. I'm just gonna say rutabecchia. I feel like that's just what I'm gonna say. <laughs> so um and like with all flowers I might say them wrong. So just just ignore it. <laughs> um anyway so I'm gonna finish doing these rutabecchia and then I'm going to um, show you guys how I'm gonna um bump up my stock. So I have these, I'm using soil blocks and I have the soil blocks, um, the three quarter inch ones and that's what I'm starting them in. And then I'm gonna bump them up to the two inch ones. I wish I had a little bit smaller size, but the kit that I bought, it just had three quarter inch and two inch. So it'll just have to do. And the stock is gonna actually go out here pretty soon. So, I mean, probably within the next two weeks, I'm gonna kick the stock outside and I'm gonna put a row cover on it. Um, and, It'll be good to go. So I got all my seeds in here and I'm just gonna cover it really super lightly with some vermiculite. Put a little bit of this and just sprinkle it on. And they do need light to germinate. So you don't want to cover too much. Um, you want just kind of enough to help keep the 
seed moist. And now it's kind of hard to get it like perfectly even. So I don't know why, but I've been really excited about this part like all day. Um, and I know my hair is kind of crazy. It's the end of the day, so that's just what it, it's just gonna be what it is. Okay, so what I need to do here is I need to figure out how I'm gonna remember which variety is which. So I have a bunch of stock, um, and but they're three different colors. So I'm gonna have to kind of just put them on here and problem is I don't have like exactly the right amount for like two rows, you know? So I'm gonna have to just try to remember. I think what I'll do is I'll just like put it on here and then as I'm planting, I'll make sure I plant from this side to that side because they're all gonna be like together. I just want them to kind of be color blocked a little bit so that, um, you know, it's easy when I'm picking them to separate them by color. So I have these fun little uh, pinchers and I'm just gonna come in here and take the little stalk and you can see there we go okay so here's our little stock plant and you can see it's got some pretty good little roots on the bottom there but not too bad so i don't feel like i waited like way too long so these are our cute little stock plants we're just gonna take the little square and you just slip it right on in to the big square. And this is the first time that I've done this. So I'm kind of excited to see how it goes. Um, this is the first time I've used soil blocks and all the little soil blocks seem to do really well. Um, I am gonna have to kind of work on my recipe for my mix. I've been using about three parts. Actually, no, I've been using like two parts plus a tiny little bit of um, perlite, which I'm not going to be using the perlite anymore for the small soil blocks. I found that um, the chunks, like the perlite that I have, the chunks are just way too big. So I'm not going to use the perlite anymore for those. Um, I guess you don't even really need these. So you can kind of just like pull these little soil blocks apart until you get one. And that one did rip a little bit. Like the bottom roots did rip just a little bit. So I need to, I definitely need to get these all potted up. So it's like really satisfying just to like take the little plant and just pop it right into its new home. And I'll make sure that I water these really good because my soil blocks are pretty dry. I might have been better if off if I would have watered them first, but I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. This is just a new thing, new experience. So I think I have 11 of the Iron Rose. So this, um, the variety of stock that I have, it's all the Iron series. And this first color is Rose. And the next color is called Marine. And I can't remember what color that is. I think it might be like a white. Yeah, so I think as I plant, I'll just start here and go that way in the field that way. Cause like this one is kind of unlabeled technically. Or it's te labeled in the wrong section. I'm definitely losing some root here by having to kind of tear them apart. And this last one is the Iron Yellow. And so far I've been really happy. I haven't had any issues with bugs in my grow room. No like gnats or anything like that, which is awesome because the last couple of years I've always, I've been getting gnats. And last year I kind of figure out what my issue was so hopefully, I don't have to deal with gnats anymore. Those are some, I don't know if you can see, there's some serious roots going on in this little bunch. Okay, so I've got 10, 20, 34 
total stock. These are all ready to be put out here in just a couple weeks. Some of them are getting pretty big, so my guess is they're gonna take off now that they have a little bit more room. So I'm getting ready to start my Lysianthus here. Um, and one of the things that I feel like last time I kind of could have done better was not use perlite. Um, the, the perlite, I feel like it's just too big for Lysianthus. The seeds are so small and they take so long to grow. Um, so this time around, I'm mixing up a little bit of a different mix. So I'm gonna use um, compost. I have a really fine compost, which I'm really, really grateful the compost that I got. It's just really, really fine. They, they've sifted it and there's barely any little sticks in it. And, and I, I was a little surprised too because I got like 30 yards of it. Like I had a whole, a huge um, dump truck um, drop off a whole bunch of compost and I was like thinking that there'd be a lot more like big sticks in it because like um, our garden center around here, I'll, I'll get like um, just like a regular truck bed full from there and there's like a lot of sticks and garbage and stuff in it. But this company, I don't know what it is, like they just have a really good compost. So, and it was actually the cheapest I could find all around. So. Um, anyway, so their compost has been really good and fine. Hopefully it's, you know, really nourishing. Um, but it seems to do really, really great for seedlings. All my seedlings look really, really great. So I'm thinking that it's probably fine. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm doing like 50-50 of perlite and, or not perlite, I'm not using perlite. Uh, I'm doing 50-50 of peat moss and, um, the compost and it's pretty fine like you can see here it's like it's really just like a really super fine mix and then I think I'm gonna add a little bit of vermiculite to it because the vermiculite that I have is really fine too so this is just like you know back to get a like Lowe's or Home Depot so I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to it and then we're just gonna have a much finer mix for our Lysianthus. And I think this will help with, um, not necessarily with germination because they germinated just fine last time, but I think it will help with having them have a little bit more even um, moisture during those few early weeks. So the other thing is I'm not gonna use the soil blocks this time around for Lysianthus. I'm gonna just do them in like this little Tupperware container and I'm just gonna, I need to wet this first, but um, I'm just gonna wet it really good and then I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle my seeds on and try to kind of spread them out a little bit so that, you know, they're not like growing right on top of each other. And then once they get um, to be a decent size, kind of before the roots start tangling together, but um, so it'll, they'll probably be about a month old before I go ahead and um, pop them up into a bigger container or a bigger, I'll probably put them in plugs. So, plug trays. So, I'm just gonna get this wet and then we'll, we'll plant our Lysianthus. So you can see here, I got the soil nice and wet and I kind of packed it a little bit and I pushed the soil down right here in the middle so that um, I could like see the difference between the two varieties. So I have the Arena Gold one and then this one is called Voyage two and it's the light apricot so i'm just gonna literally just sprinkle the seeds on top and i wrote a number on here saying like 60 seeds 30 seeds but i kind of just like with this variety i just did the rest that i have which i think was about 30 seeds um because i did 20 blocks um soil blocks in the last batch and then this time I just kind of guessed about 60 seeds. So we'll see what what comes up. Um, then I'm going to, I'm pretty sure last time I says do not cover. So I did not cover last time, but I am gonna miss these really good. Get those. So these are pelleted seeds. And I wanna make sure that they get nice and wet get going. And I'll go ahead and put some plastic on this and then put it under the grow light. 
And now we wait like five months. <laughs> so I thought I would show you guys kind of everything that's going on here. So these two trays are the Rudbeckia that we just started. And these are the Lysianthus we just started. I might actually put these on my um, heat mat. I'll have to double check the temperature. Um, but I think these would probably benefit from the heat mat. So I've got my heat mat up here. Last time I germinated those out like by the fire and they germinated so well because it's like usually really hot out there. Um, but now that I have the heat mat, I think I'll go ahead and turn that on. So this heat mat here, I got this off Amazon and it was like $13 and man, this thing works so well. In fact, almost too well because it heats my room up like by 10 degrees. <laughs> It keeps this whole room, this whole guest room, like really hot. So you can see right now it's 68 degrees in here. And um, I usually have to crack the window because it, it gets really hot in here. So I've got lots of succulents and fun things in here. But so those are the Rudbeckia we just started. And then the Lysianthus I just put on the heat mat. And then here are the stock that we transplanted. Looking great. And then here are some Bells of Ireland that are not doing very well. So I'm going to have to redo those. But I have some Bells back here. And you can see they're looking pretty yellow. So I think I probably need to fertilize them again. I'm wondering if the first time around I didn't give them quite enough. So anyway, those I'm actually going to try and put outside here pretty soon as kind of a little bit of an experiment under a little hoop house. So, or like a little low tunnel hoop house. And then right there, I've got some Dusty Miller. You can see that Dusty Miller right there. It's just barely starting to get its first leaf that has like the little silvery fuzzies on it. So I'm really excited about that. Here, I'm gonna pull this out and show you guys. This is that beautiful eucalyptus. So I've got the silver drop variety and the baby blue variety. And I had such good germination. They are a stretching just a little bit because I I, am, I just barely put them under the light. So hopefully they'll get looking a little bit better here soon. But I had really good germination, which I'm really happy about. Because last year my germ... Oh, there's some more even. Getting ready to go. And then back here I have some snapdragons, um, the yarrow and the verbena, and then these are my lysianthus. So these lysianthus I started on 1217, and they look really good. Like you can see there's some that either they didn't germinate or like, you know, they didn't look very good, or they just like kind of died off. So I don't think I'll ever do the soil blocks again. I don't think they can keep quite moist enough in the soil blocks. In fact, these need watered. They're really dry. I've, I've been having like a tiny little bit of algae growth, um, but I added this fan over here. And so it's kind of been helping the last couple days um, make sure these dry out every single day and they're not like holding too much water. So and then there's my snapdragons. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And so you guys can follow on the journey. And we'll see you guys next time.